Hello, welcome to part 20 of Clinical Physiotherapy MCQ series. Let's move to our 96th question. A patient with recent ankle injury reports anterior ankle pain while walking. Pain is reproduced only during the passive rotation of the lower leg. This patient most likely sustained which of the following injuries? Option A. Syndosmosis sprain. Option B. Calcaneocuboid sprain. Option C. Fifth metatarsal fracture. Option D. Tibial stress fracture. And the answer is Option A. Syndosmosis sprain. Pain only during passive movement, anterior ankle pain. Explanation to this question is Option 1 test the integrity of the tibiofibular syndosmosis. With a positive result, the patient will have reproduction of symptoms and in this case, anterior ankle pain. Lateral or external rotation of the tibia may potentially compress the calcaneocuboid joint but would not stress the ligaments. A fifth metatarsal fracture would not present with anterior ankle pain. Option 4 does not load the tibia and or muscle enough to provocate pain from a stress fracture. Moving to our 97th question, a spinal cord injury patient is presented with the following symptoms. Deficits are found in the more centrally located tract, upper extremity than peripherally located Lower extremity, it is noted in the chart that the spinal cord lesion is incomplete. Which type of injury listed below does this patient most likely have? Option A, anterior cord symptom. Option B, central cord symptom. Option C, brown squared syndrome. Option D, sacral sparing. And the answer is Option B, central cord symptom. Explanation to this question is Central cord symptoms occurs when there is a damage to the central portion of the cord and an incomplete lesion. Typically, greater defects are formed in the upper extremity than the lower extremity upon evaluation. Anterior cord symptom results in damage to anterior part of the spinal cord. This is an incomplete lesion and sense of light touch, proprioception and position are usually intact. Brown skewered syndrome results in hemisession of the spinal cord. Sacral sparing occurs in the sacral area and is an incomplete lesion. Typically, sensation will be intact in the sacral area. However, paralysis and loss of sensation are complete in all other areas below the level of lesion. Now let's move to our 98th question. An 18-year-old female having her first child went into premature labor and delivered a baby girl. Between which week of pregnancy is the labor defined as premature? Option A. Between the 30th and the 37th week. Option B. Between the 28th and 37th week. Option C. Between the 24th and 37th week. Option D. Between the 28th and 37th week. And the answer is Option D between the 28th and 37th week. Explanation to this question is premature labor occurs between 28th and 37th week of pregnancy. Now let's move to our 99th question. A nerve root is the portion of the peripheral nerve root that connects the nerve to the spinal cord. The nerve root usually arises from each level of spinal cord. In the cervical spine, which of the following nerve root is the most commonly compressed? Option A, C6, Option B, C7, Option C, C5, Option D, C8. And the answer is Option A, C6. Explanation to this question is the C6 is the most frequently affected or damaged nerve root in the cervical region because of the excessive degeneration of C5 to C6 disc space in the space. C5 and C7 are also frequent sites of damage and compression. Now let's move to our 100th question. The knee is a complex structure that plays a major role in supporting the body during static and dynamic activities. It is supported by muscles, ligaments, cartilage, tendons and bones to maintain its function. Which of the following is the strongest ligament in the knee? Option A. Medial collateral ligament. Option B. Posterior cruciate ligament. Option C. Lateral collateral ligament. Option D. 
and eat a crochet ligament and the answer is option b posterior crochet ligament explanation to this question is posterior crochet ligament is the strongest ligament in the knee it has a tensile strength of 2000 newton which is twice as strong as acl that is anterior crochet ligament the acl is half as strong as medial collateral ligament the mcl is stronger than the lateral collateral ligament that's all for today if you need further clarification check the description box and give your feedback in the comment box if you like this mcq session do subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you